so if you would like to know how to clean your makeup brushes within minutes this is the perfect video for you because i know i used to hate washing my makeup brushes but i'm about to give y'all the tea okay so the products you are going to be needing is your clorox disinfectant wipes you also going to be needing a makeup brush cleaning mat you can get a size small or large they sell them at walmart five and below mine is from five and below okay your dial bar soap antibacterial soap and your brushes in the sink with some water all right boom so the first thing i'm gonna do is get light kind of brushes i feel like i like to get the same amount of brushes not same amount but the same kind of brushes a few at a time go ahead and lather it up with some water and then go in circular motions with your dial soap get it nice and um get it nice and lather lather the green gram and then you want to go ahead and on circular motions on your mat and get off all the extra makeup and rinse it off depending on the size of the brush i do do this step twice maybe even three times usually twice once is enough but depending like i said on the size of the brush twice will be perfect you don't have to do it three times because this is not your take so long trying to get makeup off brushes literally this dial soap is the tea i'm about to show you how i go get all these brushes clean within seconds i literally washed 50 plus brushes within like five minutes maybe six but literally in a blink of an eye it's no more don't be wanting to wash brushes it take too long the, br the makeup is stuck the residue ain't coming out out them brushes no get you dial antibacterial bar soap and like I said, I do like to get lighted brushes. Y'all can see I have a whole bunch of blending brushes in one. You can do all your powder brushes in one. You, well, whatever works. If you would like, you can do multiple brush sizes, but it will be hard for the soap to reach all brushes. And look at it. Clean is new. So like I said, I like to get all the eyeshadow brushes together, all the detail, um, intricate brushes together because it just helps it easier to make circular motions on the cleaning mat so that it'll just be able to get all of the makeup out without missing any points because one brush might be bigger than the other and it just might be messing up like, you know, the flow. So what works for me is just to use all similar brushes and as y'all can say i'm washing these brushes in an instinct okay let's get into these beauty blenders so even beauty blenders usually are a pain in the butt but nope not with that down so so all i'm doing is wetting up my beauty blender then go ahead and mix around my um beauty blender onto the dial so then i'm gonna use your strength you always gonna need strength for this to be able to press it to your beauty blender don't be extremely rusk rough rough <laughs> Because beauty blenders can tend to be fragile. So just be mindful as how much pressure you're using. But you do need to use pressure for sure because you need to make sure that you get all that makeup off that beauty blender. Depending on how much buildup you allow that beauty blender to get will determine how many times you're going, how many rounds it's going to take for you to get that makeup out. The more makeup, the more rounds, you know, doing the same thing. Water, soap, squeeze, push, mix around, rinse or the less product you could do it one time and boom your foundation your product your powder will be out of that beauty blender because we don't need any of our makeup utensils you know having product build up that's never a th that's never given okay so yes definitely go ahead and purchase you guys dial bar soap shout out to my girl wiggy for putting me on because ever since i've been using this technique i literally wash my makeup brushes like it's nothing with no problem without dreading the process so y'all let me know if y'all use this technique or if this y'all first time even hearing about it am i late well i'm just you know the sign is showcased with y'all now i ain't that late now but y'all know what i mean so as y'all can see all my makeup makeup beauty blenders are clean this is the before and after filth dirty not giving versus clean brand new and then on my little pan my makeup pan i'm just gonna take my clorox wipe and remove all the extra um makeup that's on there and then you just take a wipe and make it um clean but that basically sums up this video i hope y'all learned something new all my brushes are clean baby and they are ready for use make sure y'all thumbs up this video and i'll check y'all out in the next one